understand what is the to what extent uh, its its use is there for us and I'll, I'll construct I'll, I'll show you a better diagram This is a coaxial cable. Uh, by chance, if you get an opportunity, you know, just just make observation yeah? because this is thing which you are studying. No, so just a part of cable when it is available. Whenever any cable comes, you, you, there must be a cupboard in your home for you where you should collect all these things: cables, different shaped conductors, all that one, and you should make them observation. The nut bolts. So there's a radius P. This axis. No, no, get into. So let let high be the current flowing through this, and high is the current which will flow on the surface. So I think you know this is the solid rod. It is. There's an outer pipe will get. This will be infinity. It's a long coaxial cable wire. We have to calculate the self inductance per unit length. So, where is I? I is flowing through this solid rod, solid cylinder of radius C of infinite length, and the current will flow from the outer pipe. So, again, it is similar to like the previous one what we discussed. But here, yeah, syndical structure is the pipe. Okay, all of you. Cylindrical pipe it is. The inside one is a solid cylinder. How the magnetic field will be produced by this? There's a cross sectional wave is what I'm I'm showing it. Uh, there's a radius A. How the current current here is out of the plane. Go back to ampere circuit law. What about current everywhere? The current everywhere is into the plane. I, I'll show only at one point. Huh? This is that pipe. How do I expect the field? This is like a long wire only, uh, long wire of radius A. So how the field? Field will be there inside here, the wire, and also in this gap here, the air gap. So I'll, I'll go for a concentric circles. Few circles, I'll show it. So this is the direction of magnetic field strength. So here it is. So now what is the question that is asked? Self-inductance per unit length is asking. Okay, there's a one diagram, some some <coughs> magnetic field region where the magnetic field region is there. 
in the gap between. So here, yeah, this is what you should call. Who will produce this magnetic field? The pipe or the solid cylinder? The solid cylinder by ampere circuit law. Will it be uniform or non-uniform? Non-uniform magnetic field it is. But how to calculate self-inductance? The two per unit length is asking. So we'll take help of one more diagram. Yeah, no, this will be. Let me assume a strip here. Now look at this strip. Here uh, I assumed a strip. Let's calculate the flux linking this strip. So I think the problem to problem things will change. You have to be very careful. Next, I'll bring another problem where things will be a little bit different for you. Okay, this is the radius R. Thickness of dr. Let me assume a L. So how the B bar everywhere here I, I, and this will come. This should come like this. First, we'll calculate flux linking this elemental area. So no flux linking. How how the B bar? What do you expect B bar? B bar will be according to according to this B bar will be everywhere into the plane because the concentric circles. So we are not understanding anything. It's, I think I can't show this more than this one. No? This for that particular strip. What you are seeing this one? No, e is is this one available here? And what is the dr? Dr r is this one, and this is r. Got it, no? I, I, I think I can't help more than this. There's a maximum help from your teacher. So we have things. So this won't like this, you have to assume elementally. So first we'll calculate the flux linking it. B into uh, L, B into D, which is equal to L into DR. What is Mang field, which is given by mu naught I by two pi R due to long wire. This is L into dr, mu naught I L two pi dr by R. Let's go for the limits, mu naught I L two pi. Now what should be the limit? The limit should be from A to B. So flux linking to the current is what? The self-inductance.
This is per unit length. Because L is what? One I is missing here. Self inductance per unit length. Like this, the different structures will have the different types of conditions. Huh? You should be alert because they don't tell like a where is the flux, where you have to calculate. Just says like a self inductance per unit length of coaxial cable. We should assume the how the field will be, then. <coughs> how that current will produce magnetic field, then what is the elemental area, what is the structure that we are supposed to assume. Don't expect everything in the numerical. Uh, this, this I should not be there, no? Yeah, this I should not be there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fine, huh? So we have 